Well, I got into Geelong later in life. It's it's really? a bizarre story. Yeah, well, I'm, I grew up in a very Collingwood family. My dad, brothers. But I rejected that. I didn't yeah. want to end up in prison. So <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's his. That's no, that's the mine. hot chocolate. The hot chocolate. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing oh, the man's nice. drink. There's two bad things about Melbourne. What's that? Cold days. Mm. And there's only thing, one thing worse than that. A cold day in Geelong. Oh yeah, true. A oh, Cadinia, come on. A Cadinia come Park. Come on, mate. I, I, I fell for that. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I got Hang you. on a minute. I got the comedian. Yeah, yeah, he got I'm me. Worried, I'm worried about this argument because you'll be funny and you'll put a good argument in. No, no, not that funny. <laughs> the no. argument is going to be though, because I know you're a good Geelong man. Big Geelong man. Can the Cats win the Premiership this year? Of course they can. Of course you say of that. Of course they can, because my wife's from Geelong. That's how I got, how I got into Geelong. So you bullied Geelong. into being a Geelong supporter? Well, I got into Geelong later in life. It's a, it's really? a bizarre story. Yeah, well, I'm, I grew up in a very Collingwood family, my dad, brothers. But I rejected that. I didn't yeah. want to end up in prison. So I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm a, so then I met my wife th 30 years ago, I met her. And now my daughters are teenagers. So, yeah, we go to the games. And um, my mother-in-law is a huge Geelong supporter. Right, OK. So I'm a Cats. It's I'm a cats. rite of passage being a Collingwood supporter. Prison, oh, isn't it? You've prison, got to do time. No tea. It's like being in a gang. <laughs> but, you know, it's good because I can visit Dad and my brothers at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, the cats. The let's cats. get, let's get into the cats. So yeah. they are looking good. I've got to give no, you that. I don't good. think they can win the premiership, but you do. So you've well, got to tell me why. Well, because you know we've got star players, and you know we're, we're, just, we're just we're just we're just get, bringing Danger for his cameo. <laughs> He's like Heather Locklear in Melrose Place. He's a special guest. You know what I mean? Even they rested Joel the other day. We're going to rest our older players. So you know, you know, uh, in the prelim against uh, Melbourne last year in Perth, yes, and and Geelong oh, lost remember. really badly. I loved you would have loved it. You would have loved it. it. <laughs> yeah, because we we're all sick. You know, they're all sick. The Geelong players. God. They all, no, they got gastro, which they picked up from the aged care facility <laughs> where they were staying, because you know they're all old. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, but you know, Super Tom, Tom Hawkins is looking. Look at Jeremy Cameron. Yeah. I mean, all these guys. I hand it to you, but you, you are like Melrose Place. You all, you all look good until it comes to the crunch. Yeah. Just not quite good enough. <laughs> yeah, when the lights come on, you're like, you're all. It's, no. like the, it's like the 90s, and that was the thing. Geelong were never going to win a premiership last year because it was a night final. It's getting too late. You need to go to bed. Yeah, they need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> look, don't worry. We've got young players, though. We've got, like, uh, you know, Ty uh, nah. Stegall, you know, like, uh, and, uh, I and to uh, you. you know, there's Brad Close yeah. and there's uh, De Koning on the back line. Yeah. Fantastic. He looks good. He's only 21. I'm Mate, I, I admit, Geelong annoy me. They have always annoyed me. They are always good. Everyone hates Geelong now, probably more than they hate Collingwood, yeah, because you're bizarre. always good. Yeah. But but in the 80s, what I loved about the 80s, they always looked good too, until yeah, it got to the granny, fine. and then Hawthorne just made you look stupid. Well, it's not going to... This year, I reckon they're so determined to do it. And, you know, it's Paddy's dream to win it a grand final. Paddy's dream. Heather Locklear. Yeah, yeah, yeah Heather Locklear. <laughs> and so I reckon we'll get there, and we'll actually do it. Because look at Melbourne aren't looking great. I must great. Admit, I, I'm going to hand it. Your forward line looks really good. I and, like how you say, oh, "I've got something to do with it." Yeah, you, you, you've done really well recruiting all those <laughs> thank players. You, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've got some concerns, but I tell you, we've got the midfield to end all midfields. Patraka, what a gun! What an absolute what superstar. A gun. But, you know, but they, they played recently, and Geelong beat them. Yeah. Uh, immediately, it was at their home ground. But you don't they, need they, to fire now. You need took... to fire in September, or they... even just a little bit before. Yeah, they took their midfield apart. So, yeah. you know, we've got Guthrie, people like that. He's uh, my favourite. Guthrie, Cam Guthrie. There's two of them. There's All you Geelong people Guthrie. know who that is. Maybe the He's people down the, there. The, the, the dreads. Yeah, the, okay. You know, the hair. Yeah, all right. No, look, look, I, I give it to you. They are looking good. They're firing up at the right time of the year. I think you've won this argument because you beat us. What can I say? You beat yeah, the you reigning beat premiers. So, yeah. Yeah. as much as I hate to say, they are a huge chance. They are. Go Cats. Argument one goes to Dave O'Neill. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers, I have my hot chocolate. <laughs>First quarter in a three-quarter game, does that that doesn't really mathematically work, but the first yeah. quarter goes to you, okay? Right. Second argument, staying on the Geelong team, having that home ground advantage yeah. really works for you guys. Yeah. It really works for you guys. It, it, you, you can't argue that with me. Well, well, no, you can, because we have to go to Adelaide and play them on their home ground. Yeah, and Perth, go, and the Gabba, and well, Brisbane. Exactly, yeah. Adelaide, Brisbane, West and Coast, they they've, all got, they've all got a home ground court they advantage finals there. in South Australia. There's in just Perth. something about that ground down there. You're like the typical old school, we'll turn off the hot water in the uh, oh. the away change rooms. <laughs> we'll make it really, <laughs> really uncomfortable. cold for them. 
<laughs> it's cold enough as it is, which you're used to, because you train down there all the time. They're small, thin, and long. You play a really good contested brand there. Yeah. You train it every single day. Yeah. We have the MCG, the Melbourne Football Club. We're not allowed to train on that, so no home court advantage oh, there. Are you not allowed to train on that? I'm not allowed to train there. Look, I know it is narrow down there because everyone's always going out of bounds, aren't they? They're always getting <laughs> yeah. out of bounds, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So, well, I say, well, no, of course Geelong have an advantage down there, mm. but surely Western Australia, the Weagles, you know... They do. They also have an advantage they too. They do, they do, but there's, I, I don't know if they're even allowed... I don't think they're allowed to train on that ground, not like Geelong are. They're there every day. Surely every they are. Every single day they know every blade of grass there. They kick goals from the boundary line every single day. They just... It's such a big advantage, more so than any other club in Australia, for that fact. They always train on it. Yeah. Change my mind, Dave O'Neill. Well, yeah. He well, can't. He <laughs> can't change Look, it's a hard one because yeah. they're, saying, they're saying that they, they played 120 <laughs> games and they've won 110 of them or something. Yes, so they've only lost like 5% of the uh, game. Yeah. So, um, and you know what? Got... Every single year they're building a new stand there. I oh, know, there's, there's always new... construction. Always construction. It just throws the opposition when they come down well, there. Well, you know what? We don't get to play our finals in Geelong. We never do a final no, in Geelong. We... Yet you play a final in Adelaide, you do one in Brisbane, you do one in Perth. Hang on, you know? hang on. You finish even on... had the grand final in Perth. <laughs> hey, what about the grand final at GMHBA? Oh, 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 Imagine the grand God. final in Geelong. Just... Geelong has everything. We have all sorts of classes of people down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's why the Geelong Football Club's so great. We accept anyone. So we at Melbourne have only got one class. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's good snow in Buller, you can always get a park because of, you know, <laughs> the, the snow's on in Buller or Hotham. <laughs> Oh, Go Dees! Oh, well, Go you guys, Dees! You, you could get a park at, uh, at uh, Cadinia Park because everyone's down having a surf. They don't know what they yes. are down there. Surf's they're, up. The beaches, they think they've got the greatest beaches in the world. Is it a football town or is it a surfing town? It's got everything. Daryl Summers is from Geelong. It's got everything down there. <laughs> I argue that that home ground is the biggest advantage in the AFL. But I'll tell you where we get you back on the MCG grand yeah, final day here we go. where you go, oh, geez, here we go. big wide open spaces. What are we going to do? <laughs> All right, yeah, I agree with you. Yes, anyway. thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have my hot chocolate. Bang, Wonder Robo. So we're coming into the last quarter in a three-quarter game. Wow. We'll work that out. The nicest guy in the AFL. We always talk about controversy, you know, who's the worst bloke, who's the worst umpire, who's the who's the nicest, who's the who's the nicest guy you've ever met? I'd say, well, I've met a few just doing gigs and doing radio and stuff. Yeah, apart from Russell Robertson. <laughs> Well, I've met a lot of them, and I like uh, Joel Selwood as a Geelong. Joel Selwood? Joel Selwood. I took grumpy. My... To... He what just looks he? grumpy all the time. <laughs> I took my daughter uh, down to Geelong to get a photo with him and Paddy and Gary Jr., and he was really nice. Joel. He was nice, was he? Right. Seems... You always notice when they play other teams, and at the end, Joel always gets a lot of players wanting to talk to him because he's obviously well respected. Yeah, he's respected. Nice I'll give him that. I don't know about nicest. He, he, you've of work obviously for charity, stripped mate. in $20 just to talk to your daughter. He does or, a lot yeah. of work for charity that we can't, he doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> oh, right? he, well, he does work for I'm charity. Not competing, like... <laughs> he has to. The AFL makes him. It's part <laughs> of the, uh, the marketing agreement. <laughs> I've seen him at op shops, I've seen him. him at bake sales. I rang him the other day and I said, what are you doing? He said, oh, I've got to go do another stupid charity thing. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> no, no, he's the nicest guy in the all right, AFL. All right, I'll give you... Who, who are you going to hit Joel me Joel Selwood, I'll give you that, but I'll raise you a Max Gorn. How can oh, you argue the big, big gentle... Maxie. Giant with the beard, the jolly beard. He's, he's you know, just looks like the greatest bloke on earth. I've met Max Gorn, and he 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 is a nice guy, but he is slightly scary looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was a stage where Melbourne won the grand final, then Halloween started, yeah. and people left up their Max Gorn pictures in the hole, and they all merged into one. And, and my kids are like, oh my god, that's scary. Look at that. I'm like, no, that's Max Gorn. It is a, the, that's not a troll. There that's is Max Gorn. There is that massive beard, and you wonder what's in there sometimes. That's just, no. And, what, and, and what about that incident where he punched someone? Oh, he did not I'm punch someone. <laughs> <laughs> he did not punch anyone. So uh, I, w I went to visit one of my parents in hospital and I started talking to these old ladies who were Bulldog supporters. They started saying that Joel, the nice guy, was dirty. He's yeah, old lady. Cause they, cause he's he can... very dirty. Oh, oh. I'm like, no, he's not. No, what he is, is he tries to get those head high tackles all the time. Yeah. So they don't really... like that. Oh, they don't like Is it the old lady? The only reason about? Max Gorn doesn't get head high tackles is because no one can get near his head. He's too tall. I don't know, Max Gorn, he's probably a secret something. You know, whether it's a Freemason or a, 
He probably got, he's, some, he's got something in his. I reckon you don't like him. His, he's actually quite funny. I reckon you're you're a little bit threatened about him maybe funny. taking some of your gigs. He's a secret smoker. And he, he, he loves <laughs> a dart. They always talk about how he loves a dart. He did. So One that's bad for the kids. Yeah, he's driving to training in his first year of training. Way to make an impression with the window down, having a fag all the way to training. <laughs> Look at this gun recruit. See, Joel wouldn't do that. He'd be eating a banana. He'd be eating a banana because he's, oh, health, he's healthy like me. It was menthol. Well, I don't know. They say menthol stunt your growth. Oh, yeah. It didn't oh, obviously work for me. Oh, kids vape. It's all about blueberry and mango now. <laughs> kids are vaping. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I, I'm going to call it a draw. I a reckon draw. they're both nice guys. I have he, to agree they are both nice guys. I don't think Joel's ever done anything wrong. I agree with you. Okay. Players come to him, shake hands. Max is always the big jolly giant in the media. Well, why don't we do who's the biggest pants man in the AFL? <laughs> Russell Roberts and ladies. <laughs> who's the biggest pants man in the comedian world? <laughs> the, the hot chocolate there. drinker. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> we'll call it who, who lives on the edge drinking hot chocolates yeah, everywhere he goes. Beautiful. <laughs> You do a good Santa, I reckon. Just yeah, I have done. I've played Santa. You get sick of getting asked. Nothing, you, yes. <laughs> Nothing worse than being fat. Can funny. you play Santa? Oh, not why? <laughs> I've got my own suit in the car. <laughs> <laughs>